I was gonna call this vlog why we don't curse that I'm not talking about fuck and I decided to change it to uh, being in integrity with our word uh, this past four days I've been teaching a shamanic practitioner clinic where we've been looking at the energy of darkness and how that energy of darkness either impacts ourselves as practitioners and how to form a healthy relationship with it or how we help a person who's coming to us for healing how we guide them to form a healthy relationship with their darkness. And so a lot of what's come up in the last few days is the recognition that we are bound to our stories of guilt, shame, worthlessness, or lack of sense uh, of self-worth, um, fear, and how these stories become this dialogue in our head. And so when we're examining the integrity of our word, we can contemplate for a moment that our words have energy. And in that space of energy, our words have power. So the dialogue that's happening inside of our minds is satisfying this story of self-hate. So if we're condemning or criticizing ourselves, calling or cutting ourselves down in our mind 10% of the time, 20, 50% of the time, then that is what we end up experiencing within our lives because the energy of that darkness or that self-hate attracts more of that into our lives and it, in fact we're cursing ourselves if we're extending that energy outside of ourselves so if we're blaming people or experiences or environment uh, if we're hating um, blaming and judging that which is around us. Our words are binding ourselves to the people or things that we might think that we're wanting to actually be free of. So the more that we're attached to and in judgment of uh, the people who have done us wrong or the experiences that have brought us pain, the more those people or experiences actually have power over us. We haven't done our work of reclaiming our power. And so if we remember for a minute that many sacred traditions across our planet have said that we have this power to um, speak our world into form, then we can, can consider that if we pause before we speak, before we um, utter that self-thought of condemnation, or before we direct uh, a thought of revenge or anger towards somebody who has really hurt us or upset us. If we pause and we breathe for a moment and we check in with our heart and we notice what is it that we really want to give voice to, what's actually happening inside of us, what's really true, would those words be different? And if they were different, what would your life look like?